Well, this is the BSD-2000 hypothermia system. This is the deep phased array system that uses radio frequency energy transmitted from antennas to focus energy deep in the body uh, to enhance the therapeutic benefit of radiation therapy and or chemotherapy. And doing these uh, processes, uh, we're actually elevating the temperature of the body in target areas to fever level temperatures. That would be typically in the range of 103, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be around 41 or 42 degrees centigrade. Uh, we'll demonstrate how this is used in treating a patient. And so if we'll have our, our model come in and be inserted basically in the device. Patient will sit on the sling, simply rotate their body and insert the legs inside. Great, at which time you will just lay down. We then elevate the sling to support the patient in a stretcher type arrangement. This is because we need to actually slide the phased array device over their body and completely surround their body with an array of antennas. Once the body is elevated significantly, we then remove these support pads, place them to the side, <coughs> and we'll transport the support mechanism to the side. The next step would be to lower the patient to a centered treatment position so they'll be centered in the phased array. Quite commonly, once we position the antenna over the body into the treatment area, we may actually be inserting temperature sensors either before in catheters or afterwards. If, for example, we were to position in this location, we, we would have placed catheters in the pelvic area for us to insert temperature sensors and monitor the temperature. Centering the applicator on the treatment target area, for example, like the pelvic area is what I'm doing now. This would be the positioning that we'd be using to treat the pelvic area. Commonly, we would be using this to treat advanced cancer, prostate cancer in men, colorectal cancer, soft tissue sarcoma, and other histologies that would be common of these sites. Other areas like the abdominal region might be treating uh, ovarian cancer that would be spread into the abdominal region. Even positioning this into the thigh area is a common practice to treat soft tissue sarcomas of the thigh in combination with chemotherapy. When we have the patient positioned in this, in this location and basically centered, then we activate a mechanism to fill a water bolus around the patient. The water would basically be filled and filling this a silicone membrane, a cylindrical cuff around the patient so that there'll be water that is surrounding the patient completely in all areas between the antenna array and the patient's body. This uniquely provides a high dielectric path or conduit, we can sometimes call a waveguide, a dielectric waveguide, which would be allowing the energy to flow selectively into the water area and into the patient's body without stray fields being rated outside in the air. This is accomplished primarily because of the antenna length is such that it is not an effective radiator into the space of the air. But with water being a very high dielectric with smaller wavelengths, these antennas are of the size to be a very efficient antenna to focus the energy inward to the patient's body. So as this uh, water is filled around the patient's body, it only takes a short time to fill all the way up. And if there has been any air that's been trapped inside the bolus space, it automatically will be purged and removed through an opening that we have on top. So it purges directly any trapped air, making a complete water cuff surrounding the patient's body of deionized water. We use deionized water because that provides for very low uh, losses of the water, so the energy can pass through the water without absorbing much energy within the water space. The principle of using phased arrays is critical to be able to focus and target the energy deep in the body. This is done because what we're transmitting is transmitted waves. 
And in these waves that transmit into the body, we're able to adjust the phase of these different antennas to focus the phase to be, very, to be common in the focal area that we want to heat. Uh, creating phase nulls in other areas and intensification in the areas of the target tumor area. Once this is filled, the temperature sensors have been placed to monitor the temperature and guide the treatment, we would initiate the RF power to begin doing the heating to raise that target area of the tumor to these high fever temperatures. Typically that process would begin immediately once the bottle bolus has been filled and last normally as long as maybe 60 minutes once they get to the target temperature, which usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes for most patients. The software that has been incorporated in the phased array system of the BSD-2000 allows for very easy interface between the operator and the system, where we've developed this to have representations of the patient's body where the tumor would be located so they can simply place a graphic icon to target the phase to a specific point in the patient's body. In doing so, it makes it automatic and easy for them to use to direct that energy right to the point of interest. The system will automatically control the level of RF power that's being applied once they arrive at the target temperature, acting like a thermo thermostat or thermocouple feeding it back to our computer. The system actually even has the, a pre-treatment planning software program that allows them to model the patient's body and plan what phase settings would be best for the particular treatment. That's normally done before the treatment begins. When the treatment has completed the prescribed time at the prescribed temperature, then the operator simply reaches down and pulls a valve that rapidly removes the water from the bolus. This provides fairly quick access to the patient's body as the treatment is, be is ended and we're going to be changing and moving the applicator out of position. This allows us now, the patient being supported on the sling, we would lift the sling back up a little bit more to allow us to move underneath the support mechanisms and pads before we lower the patient's body. As the treatment has concluded, typically a patient would have been lying there for well over an hour. And so it's always good for the operator to assist the patient as they are removed from the applicator. Basically, they simply rotate. I'll give a little hand, they step over, and the treatment is completed. Thank you.